All right, hello, hello. Welcome back, here we go. Vamos a esperar a sus compañeros. Solo veo a Danilo. Hi, Danilo. Hello, hello how are you? How are you today? You're good. All right, you're fine. Excellent. Okay, how about you, Edwin? How is it going today? Just let me fix something here. Okay, vaya. Deme un minutito. All right, I'm ready to start with the class. So, hello, hello. Ya somos cuatro en la clase, cuatro en la sesión. Creo que sí, ya estamos listos para iniciar. Ok. Aquí está. Vaya. Vamos a empezar la clase de ahora. Welcome back. Today is Tuesday. So it means that we are going to have class number two from section number three. So let me present the topic for today's class. Aquí vamos a ver. Vamos a repasar en este momento. Si recuerdan, yesterday we were like introducing some vocabulary, some expressions in order to talk about places places and products or objects that we can buy or we can get in those places. ¿Qué vocabulario veíamos ayer? ¿Qué tipo de vocabulario? ¿Quién recuerda? Ok, veíamos dos verbos también, the verb can and get. And what is the difference? Between can and get. For example, that is when I want to buy mm -hmm. chocolate. Okay, Something. all right. Yes. And for example, I use get when I go to the bank and I need to. And you get a product, right? You get a product. For example, credit card. Mm -hmm. For example, the credit card, a loan. That's all right. So you remember the information. So this is what we were making. We were creating these statements. As you may see, we had some different pictures from places. And at the same time, we had some, uh, the name of some products, a backpack, home medicine, a debit card, eggs, an espresso, gasoline, a magazine, and stamps. All right, so let's do the speaking practice. Vamos a ver cómo nos va con la speaking practice, similar to the activity that we were developing the previous class. Lo mismo que hacíamos la clase anterior. Remember, the verbs that we are going to use in this activity is going to be the verb get and the verb buy. Quiero que usen esos dos verbos. So, elijamos un lugar y ustedes me dan ideas. ¿Qué cosas puedo obtener o comprar en estos lugares? Let's start with the department store. Give me some ideas about products that I can buy at the department store. Okay, let me listen to you. Preparen sus oraciones. Okay. Y así con los demás lugares también. At least one, one product. So you can practice the vocabulary. Por lo menos una oración. So, en el orden que me aparecen, tengo, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ya somos seis en la clase. Entonces, el primero que aparece es Danilo. Give me your information. Department store. Make the sentence. About products. 
Mm -hmm. Products that you can buy or, or you can get at a department store. I, I can buy a computer at a department store. All right, excellent. So, Danilo, pick another classmate. Elija quien sigue. Y así vamos a ir hasta que acabemos las oraciones. Pick okay, one of your classmates. Eh, José David Martín. All right. José David. Hello. Yes. Hi, José David. Tell me about what products can you buy at a department store? I can buy a uh, shoes at uh, the department store. Mm -hmm. You can buy shoes at the department store. David, can see it. Elija alguien más, José David. Who's next? Eh, Edwin Adonai. All right. Tell me about the department store. Edwin. Hi, teacher. Hello. What oh, can you okay. buy? Mm -hmm. Give me your example. Uh, I can buy... Uh, department store. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what is the meaning of department store? Like, Why? Simon, oh, no, do you remember the meaning of department store? What is a department store? ¿Qué era una department store? ¿A qué le llamamos así? ¿Qué lugar? What place? A big store, for example, Simán, Sears. Exactly. Those places ah. like Simán, Sears, those very huge stores. It's my mother. Yeah. Okay. So give me your examples. What can you buy at a department store? I Okay, I was in silence. Okay, don't worry. I can buy, buy department store. Prisma Moda? Huh? So, pero que podemos comprar ahí? Esa es la idea, usar el uh, verbo get o okay. usar el verbo buy. Vamos, otra vez, one more time. Okay, I I can buy a, a shirt. All right. Where? A donde? Uh, depart at a uh, department store. Okay, I like it. I can buy shorts at a department store. Vamos, chicos. Vamos, agarrando el hilo a la clase. Vámonos con supermarket. Aquí está muy fácil para ustedes. What can you buy or get at a supermarket? Okay. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién sigue? Usted elige quién sigue. Who's next? Ramón, Ramón Fuentes. Ramón, give me two examples. Not only one, two examples about products that you can buy at the supermarket. All right, Ramón, are you ready? Ready, Miss. Uh, I can buy food at a supermarket. Yes. Another example, excellent. And I can buy drinks at the supermarket. I like it. Excellent jobs. Muy buena redacción de oraciones. ¿Quién sigue? Who's next? Puede volver a elegir los que ya participaron. Don't worry. Moy quiere participar. All right. <laughs> He wants to participate. Hi, okay. teacher. Hello. Hello. So, two examples. Two examples uh, about the drugstore in this case. <laughs> uh, I can buy penicillina uh, at drugstore. Okay. Um, Acuérdense de los common remedies. Hablábamos de este tipo de vocabulario. Yes, down. I can buy a uh, drug code. Uh, no, what's that again? Store. Otra vez, ¿qué fue eso? I can buy what? ¿Cómo era eso? Mm. I didn't get it. No, no entendí por eso. What, what was that? I can buy. Eh, pero, 
Creo que comprendí lo que quiso decir, pero no, no estoy segura. I can buy. I can buy I, I, uh, cool, cool eyes. Cold, cold eyes, así. A drugstore. What is Sí. cold eyes? ¿Qué Entendí era eso? que era como gotas. <ríe> ah, ¿cómo se decían gotas para los ojos, chicos? Clase, ayudémosle. Cold. Cool. Ay, no son cold. Cold es que lo está confundiendo con cold medicine, medicina para la gripe. Y las drops. Pueden ser drops. Drops, gotitas, drops. Ah, uh, okay. Muy bien, I like it. ¿Qué más? ¿Quién sigue? Elija a alguien y deme un número. Ese va a ser el número de oraciones que va a decir esa persona. Go, please. Manuel. Manuel, all right. How many? Y ¿Cuántas oraciones? dos. Ok, Two. considerado. Un compañero considerado. Great job. Manuel. Let me pick. Hmm. Pongámosle a Manuel. ¿Qué lugar? The coffee shop. Coffee shop. Go, Manuel. Here we go. Make two sentences about the coffee shop. Hello. <laughs> go, please. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I can buy a cappuccino at coffee shop. All right. Another Uh, I can, one. okay. I can buy americano <laughs> at shop, uh, at coffee shop. Copy shop. Very good. Very smart. Muy, muy inteligente. Menciono lo que yo me puedo. Dice el vocabulario que me siento seguro. Great job. Y si les doy otros lugares, lugares que no están acá, ¿será que somos capaces de redactar ideas? Yes or no. Yes. Yes, Of course, probably. teacher. Of course, teacher. Yo puedo. I can do it. Ok, Danilo, dígame un lugar. Tell me a place. Lugar que podamos comprar cosas. Ya no coffee shop, no quiero un bank. Ya todos los que estaban ahí, no. Those are over. Ah, uh, the park. Ah, en el parque. Interesante. Piensen, les doy 30 segundos. Piensen qué podemos comprar en el parque. No solo comida, claro. Ice cream. No. Pero sean específicos. De carretón, dice. De repente, no, ni me pregunten, ni me pregunten. Yo le llamaría I sorbetes can, artesanal. Go, I please. can get, I can get a hot dog. Ajá. All right. I can get a hot dog at the park. What else? Uh -huh. I can get a ice cream. Uh, in the park. Ok, at the park, excelente. At the park, At okay. the park, at, at the park. Siempre que hablemos de I lugares, can get, at. I can get what? Yes. I can get the love of my life at the park. Wow, interesting. Why not? At the Cuscatlan Park, dicen. Bicentenario Maybe. Park, Maybe. dicen. <laughs> yeah, right. I can get or I can find the love of my life. How you see? I can Yes. I can get a uh, poquita Diana Yeah, at sure. the park uh, Principito. Ah, yeah, right. Exactly. So, snacks. Poquita Diana, that's all right. Pueden referirse a ese tipo de productos exactamente con su nombre, porque es un nombre propio. So, it doesn't matter. Podemos utilizarlo. Okay? Ya si quieren ponerlo en una categoría, snacks. Snacks. All right, so yeah, you did a great job. Traten de redactar siempre, en este caso, lo más que puedan de oraciones. Así van a ir acostumbrándose a hacerlas. Y no solo afirmativas, también podemos hacer negaciones, ¿ok? ¿Qué cosas no podemos comprar? En este caso, ¿cuál sería la fórmula o de qué manera redactamos clase? I Pues, can't I buy can't not can't. a car at Me the encanta. park. I cannot, oh, the short form, can't. Mm -hmm. I cannot. I can't. You decide. Ustedes deciden cuál utilizar. For example, I cannot 
buy food at a bookstore. Well, I think so. I cannot buy some drinks at a bank. So negative. O oh, en la forma interrogativa igual. Les preguntaba yo. What can you get at a bank? Just to give you an example. Recuerden, es una pregunta abierta. What? ¿Qué pueden obtener en un banco? ¿Por qué? Para darle la posibilidad a la persona que me dé sus ejemplos. All right. Questions about this part of the vocabulary. I guess it's clear. Because I have been Gracias, listening señor. to you. I was reading your statements yesterday. So let's go to pronunciation. En la plataforma también está eso. If you see, here we have two, four, six, eight examples about compound nouns. This is just part of the vocabulary. Pero pongámoslos en una categoría. Todos estos nombres son compound, compound nouns. So what is the meaning of compound? Compound are those nouns in which I have two different words and whenever I join or I place those words together, they have a different meaning. Tengo dos palabras separadas, las uno me forma un nuevo significado, una nueva palabra. Book store bookstore department and then i have store department store i have gas or gasoline and then i have a station gas station post and then i have an office post office i have coffee and i have the word or the noun shop coffee shop i have the noun drug and then i have this other noun, that is a store, drugstore, rest. Este es un verbo y tengo un nombre, room, rest room. Y cambia totalmente el significado. And then I have super, and then I have market, supermarket. Okay, entonces, si se fijan es la combinación muchas veces incluso de un verbo más un nombre. Y lo convierto en un nombre. Okay, so... Vamos a ir a la plataforma. Because it's very important, quite important, to learn to pronounce these nouns. So, where do you have it? Here. Está en la sección número tres. Section number three. All right. It's going to be the first exercise for today's class. It's about pronunciation, okay? So listen to the short explanation, and then we are going to practice. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So, Basically, anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, 
we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and... Okay, okay, yeah. Sure, we are going to practice. So what do you notice? What do they have in common? ¿Qué tienen en común estos ejemplos? Two, four, six, eight examples. What do they have in common? Todas estas palabras. ¿Qué tienen en común? What do they have in common? Analicemos el ejercicio. Número uno, ¿qué pasa con ellos? Todos ellos son... Places. ¿No? Compound uh -huh. nouns. 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 ¿Qué era un compound noun? De acuerdo a la explicación. ¿Qué es el compound noun? ¿Qué era? ¿Se comprendió que es un compound noun? ¿Sí? Are two words. Aquí en... Que se llama... That separate, ah, uh, muy bien. Separate. Primero empezaban, they were defining. Empezaban uh, definiendo what is a noun. Reports. What is a noun class? Uh, uh, a noun can, can be. Data dictionary. Uh -huh. It can be a person. Place and thing. Place or? All right. Thing. Or a thing. So basically everything that is around us, it's a noun. Casi todo lo que nos rodea es un nombre. Bueno, todo. Y de ahí le siguen los verbos, las acciones que hacemos. Okay, so now. Entonces, cuando uno, one noun with another noun, I create a new noun. Un sustantivo nuevo se crea. Entonces, hay algunos que ya están establecidos, que se escriben... En conjunto, no hay una separación, pero ya está. No hay una regla que me diga, ok, hay algunos que sí se forman y se unen totalmente. Hay otros que los puedo separar. It's just like that. Ya está entonces establecido. So, siguiente, ¿qué podemos ver? As we have two nouns, hay dos nombres. Y es cierto, es una sola palabra. It's a single noun, pero siempre se distingue el primero. So, what does it mean? The stress, the stress, the intonation that we are going to have when pronouncing those nouns, it's going to be always at the beginning. Siempre la primera palabra que pasa lleva la mayor fuerza de voz y luego baja. Book store. Okay, en este caso sería department store, department store. Okay, continuemos. How about this one? This is gas. Gas station. Gas station. Que se note que acaba la mayor fuerza de voz y luego baja. Vamos, esta. How about this one, class? This is? Boss office. Great. I like it. Great pronunciation. How about this one? Coffee. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Coffee shop. Que se, que se escuche la pronunciación. How about this one? This is... Drugstore. How about this one? Restroom. Restroom. How about this one? The last one. Supermarket. 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 Siempre. Que se escuche esa pronunciación. Bookstore. Department store, <coughs> gas station, post office, coffee shop, drugstore, restaurant, supermarket. All right. And as you may see, we are going to practice first pronunciation and we are going to have a practice by reading, reading sentences. Okay. Vamos a ver. Tengo cuatro ejemplos acá. Tengo affirmative and negative statements. La idea es dar la entonación correcta en los compound nouns. All right, los que no han participado. ¿Quiénes son? Quiero ver. 
Ya tuve a varios participantes. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién no participa? How about you, Jorge? Do you want to practice? Hola. Eh, yo. Es tímido. Who's shy? ¿Quién es shy en esta clase? Nobody. Jorge Morales. Really? Are you shy? Seguro. ¿Solo en la clase o también ahí en la office? Es, es yo shy. sí. You're oh. out there. ¿Qué pasa? All. all right. But don't be afraid. No, tenemos que aprender a comunicarnos en inglés. Y ahí la pena se nos va a ir. Yo les prometo que sí. Vaya. Vamos, tratemos. Jorge, leamos las primeras dos oraciones. Acuérdese la intonation en los compound nouns. Go, please. Let me listen to you. Ok. Um, bookstore. Mm, vaya, ahora toda la idea completa. Great job. Go, please. There are bookstores in the gas station. Okay, one more time. Una vez más. There's a bookstore in the gas station. All right. Continue with this. There are coffee shops in the supermarket. All right. Si sí se escucha, perfecto. Jorge, elija quién va a continuar ahorita. ¿Quién es el siguiente? Who's next? Okay. Um, uh, Uh, Joseph Campos. All right. Who's that? Joseph. Jose Campo. Vamos. Jose David. Me. Uh, Vamos con estas dos. Uh, the last two. There isn't, uh, yes. there isn't a, a post office in the supermarket. All right. Excellent. Continue. They aren't a uh, rest, restroom in the drugstore. All right, great pronunciation. Questions about this topic. ¿Se comprende lo de los compound nouns? Yes. ¿Qué otros yes, compound yeah. nouns conocen ustedes? ¿Qué otros conocen? Hay muchos compound nouns que utilizamos a diario. In English, of course. ¿Qué otros conocen? Otros compound nouns. Uh, I think that car wash. Yes, it is. Car wash. Siempre la entonación. Car wash. ¿Qué más? ¿Cómo dicen semáforo? How do you say semáforo? Traffic light. Traffic light. Traffic light. ¿Qué otro conocen? Uno más por lo menos. Otro campo, un noun. That's all right. Police station. Gas station. Parada de autobuses o parada de buses. ¿Cómo lo decimos? Bus station. Bus station. Otro nombre Teacher, compuesto. Um, Dígame. Uh, uh -huh. yeah, fire so. station sería una estación de bomberos. Fire station. Fire. Sí, puede ser station or department. Firefighters department oh, mm -hmm. or fire station. Yes. That's all right. Seafood, Mexican food, Italian food. También, ese es uno compuesto. Mexican food. Entonces, resalten siempre. Acuérdense que son cosas que van juntas. A veces sí podemos separarlas, pero la idea es crear una nueva palabra, un nuevo concepto con la unión de dos. ¿Y será que tienen más de dos? ¿Han escuchado ejemplos que son... Tres palabras juntas que no se pueden separar. Ahí estamos dando de dos compounds. Les voy a dar uno. Cuando ustedes tengan, por ejemplo, ice cream cone. Miren, son tres palabras. ¿Qué es un ice cream cone? Um, sorbete, ajá. Ajá, yo sé que es un sorbete, sorbete pero le, agrega, le agregamos un cone. Con helado. Ok, entonces, cuando son tres palabras 
vamos a separarlas con dashes. En este caso, también podríamos formar de ice cream, el ice, o pongamos esta. Hot dog stand. Tres palabras, una sola idea. Donde venden los choris. ¿Qué es eso? Es un hot dog stand. ¿Ok? Entonces, eso se van a separar con dashes. ¿Ok? Es parte de la puntuación, del spelling. Llevan dashes. ¿Por qué? Porque son tres. So, ice cream. Quiero, bus quiero buscarles uno más. Ice cream coin. ¿Ok? Muchas personas lo escriben ahí simplemente ice cream con, pero sí, lo esencial sería escribirlos con la separación de dashes. Ice cream con, ice cream stand. ¿Ok? Para que si ustedes lo ven y ustedes ven que se escribe con dashes, es una forma correcta. Y muchas veces usamos lo más simple, simplemente escribirlo como ice cream con. Pero para que sepan la regla de el spelling. Ambas formas están correctas. ¿Ok? That's all right. Era como información extra. Ok, si se van a la plataforma, if we go to the platform, as you may see, we have another topic. ¿Qué más vamos a combinar ahora? Ya hablamos de lugares en la ciudad, places in town. Hablamos de cosas que podemos obtener. Pero ahora necesitamos ser más específicos. Be more specific when talking about places. Si yo voy a hablar de lugares, ¿qué creen que vamos a combinar ahora? Prepositions. Ya sé hablar de lugares. O ya tengo la idea cómo hacerlo. So, right now. Quiero que me den direcciones. ¿Cómo llego a a un lugar. How do I get to a place? So for that, it's quite important to use the prepositions. In English, we are going to have those expressions that are called prepositions. Tengo diferentes preposiciones en inglés. Tengo prepositions of time y tengo también prepositions of place. Dos tipos de preposiciones. Y son palabras como under, on, between, in front of. Esas palabras que me indican en dónde está un lugar. Muy esenciales y útiles cuando hablo de lugares. So, let me show you what we have. This is class number six. Ese sería el tema que vamos a ver en esta clase. As you may see, we have like a combination or a list of expressions that we are going to use in order to refer to places. Hay un grupo que siempre es más común o las que usamos más seguido, pero hay palabritas que también Usamos y no sabemos que son preposiciones, son frases en sí. Por ejemplo, esta casi no se usa, into. Tenemos esta que casi no utilizamos tampoco, above. So, esto se lo voy a compartir para que vean ciertas de las prepositions que son utilizadas en inglés. Tenemos esta otra que casi no se utiliza. Off. Okay. So, pongámoslo en contexto. Vámonos a la plataforma. Here we are going to have a short explanation about the prepositions. Aquí estamos. Preposiciones de lugar. Siempre es útil manejarlo con un pequeño mapa. Vamos a ver solo la introducción de este tema y luego nos vamos a trabajar. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn 
prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk All about All right, let's go back to the conversation. I think so. Oh no, my son needs... So let's see, what do we have here? What is the conversation about? ¿De qué se trata esta conversación? Primero, what is the title of the conversation? ¿Cómo se llama eh, la conversación? What is the title? Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. All right, aquí queda. What is the title of the conversation? Title. Título. It's what across is the from the park. It's across from the park. It's across from the park. Who are these people in the picture? Who is him? Are they members of a family? Are they friends? What information can you give me? Hmm? Uh, they are not family. Because... They are not family, uh -huh, because what? Mm -hmm. Because for the conversation are to, for example, some men and some women. Yeah, right? But, but the main need of that. Exactly. And what's going on? What is the issue? What's the matter? ¿Cuál es el problema? What's the matter? Mm -hmm. uh, the, child. the child. Yes, what happened? No, but the, he need to know where is the, the restroom. Exactly. He is looking for a restroom. So the conversation goes like this. Man, excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Is there a public restroom? Teacher, but I, I remember that you said, yes. for example, when we use restroom, mm -hmm. it's obviously that the place is a public. Yes, it is. It is in this it's case. Is the is the is correct when you use when I use public restroom? Yes. Let me explain why. For example, if you go to a restaurant. What does it mean that this restaurant in side of the place you're going to find restrooms? Okay. Pero que sería entonces un public restaurant? This is just for people that go to the restaurant. It's like exclusively just to people that are uh, consuming or getting products from that place. ¿Qué es entonces un okay. public restaurant? Ambos son públicos. We'll go, Perfecto. We'll yes. go all the people. Mm -hmm. where, where you, where exactly. You Most of the time, a public restroom, it's one restroom that is outside your house, but you need to pay a certain amount of money. Pagamos. Ambos son públicos, claro. Pero en uno pago, en el otro, como estoy consumiendo, I don't need to pay. But it's public. Right. Algo que también me llama la atención es, miren, tenemos acá la palabra restaurant split, una forma separada. It's, it's, it's amazing. Me llama la atención, pero sí es correcto. ¿Qué más? A public restroom. ¿Qué pregunta ella? A public restroom. Hmm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. No creo que haya uno cerca. Oh, no. My son needs a restaurant. Well, there's a restroom 
in the department store. Ya le dio una solución. Si se fijan, sigue siendo un public restroom. There's a restroom in, inside, in the department store. Where is the department store? ¿A dónde está la department store class? Where is it? Oh, my sorry. On. Otra preposición. On Main Street. Okay, pero sigue perdido. Where on Main Street? Can you be more specific? Yes. It's on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes. It's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. ¿Se acuerda cómo se llamaba la sección 3? Ayer les explicaba cómo se llamaba la sección. You can't miss it. Aquí hace referencia en esta conversación. Ella le está diciendo, yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. ¿Qué creen que le está queriendo decir? Ella con todas esas indicaciones no se puede perder. Así de simple, es en serio. Muy bien, muy buena referencia. Sería, in... bueno, no, no, no voy a hacer mi comentario machista. ¿Ok? Se pierde muy fácil los hombres, dicen. Ya, yeah, lo digo por mi esposo, my husband. ¿En dónde está? Le da esas direcciones, nada, se pierde. Y le vuelve a llamar y me dice, no, no sé dónde está. ¿A dónde es? ¿Te hago videollamada? Y ok, sí. Entonces... Es que las mujeres a veces dan direcciones malas. También, ¿verdad? Para... Pero miren ella, ¿será que está siendo específica? ¿O cómo darían ustedes la dirección? Yo siento que esto es muy formal, ¿verdad? On Main Street and First. ¿Cómo hacemos los salvadoreños para ubicarnos? How do we do class? We name the places. Creo que no damos direcciones de calles, right? Si no, decimos, uh, it's in front of the supermarket. Or it's, it's next to el pollo campero. It's near to uh, the shopping center. Damos lugares en lugar de direcciones, avenidas, calles. But in this case, she was very specific. That's why she's stating that you can miss it. No te puedes perder. Es imposible que no lo encuentres. So thanks a lot. So let's practice the conversation. What are we going to do in order for you to practice? Quiero que hablen, speaking practice. Vamos a hacer esto ahorita. Speaking practice, it's going to be a conversation. Men and women. Sí, solo dos personas. Two people from the conversation. So let me stop sharing and I'm going to send a picture. Siempre practiquen. Una de las formas más fáciles de mejorar su pronunciation is whenever you read, read aloud. Lean en voz alta y van a mejorar muchísimo su pronunciación. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to send you two groups so I can listen to you. En grupos se me hace más fácil corregir a veces si hay pronunciación o algo que corregir. So let's go. Two people. Vamos chicos, cinco minutos para practicar. All right. Aquí van cuatro salas, vamos a hacer. Queda un grupo de tres. Vamos chicos, go. Time to practice. Let me send this to WhatsApp. Ahí le va la picture. It's time to practice. All right. Okay, I'm just missing Jorge and Wendy. Me dicen chicos si se pueden unir o no a la, a la sala. Aquí está. Vaya. 
Solo me queda Wendy. All right. So let me listen to you. There was between, the point is here, uh, between, uh, Dreamland, Dreamland, I have my, my work. work. Tell me. What? It's going to be the speaking Only practice, this one. Speaking about what? Just read the conversation. Read the conversation. Practice the conversation. Vamos a leerla nada más. Quiero escuchar su entonación. Vamos. Okay. Um, excuse me. Okay. Can you help me? <laughs> Is there a public restroom around here? About uh, under a belong beside in back of in front of between, in, out, inside, outside, on, off, up, down, across, around, in, near. All right, so? What, what we read? Uh, it's not the conversation. conversation. You know? The conversation yeah. Or create session. The conversation. All the, the conversation. conversation. Yeah, oh, okay. this one. So as you are three in this group, son tres. Yes. Um, Divídense ah. primero dos y luego eh, alguien se repite y ayuda al siguiente compañero. Vamos, los escucho. Go, please. ¿Quién va a empezar? Okay. Who's going to start? Eh, Voy a empezar. Ok, Manuel and who else? ¿Quién más? Danilo. Okay. And Danilo. Manuel is the man, Danilo is the woman. I don't know. Go ahead, please. <laughs> For the example. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> no, Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Mm, I am sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Oh, no, uh, my son needs a restroom. Well, there is a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Or on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Oh, on the corner of, on the, on the corner of Main and First? Yes. It's crossed from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. All right, amazing. Great pronunciation. So who is going to help Jorge? Can I ayuda a Jorge entonces? Who's going to help him? Okay. Me? Who? Quien va a leer con yeah. Jorge? Uh, me. Manuel. All right. So Jorge, men or women? Okay. Who are you going to play? Um, um me I mem. All right, so Manuel, help me out with the women the conversation. Go please. Okay. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Public restroom? Mm. I am sorry. I don't not uh, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, um, there's a restroom in the apartment store on Main Street. We're on Main Street. It's on on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the car of May on first. Yes, it is across from the park. You can't miss it. Mm, a lot. Thanks a lot. Wow, amazing. No corrections in pronunciation. 
todo bien pronunciado. Bien, solo asegurémonos de, de dar la entonación correcta a las preguntas. También a los compound nouns, entonación correcta. Acuérdense, compound nouns, primera palabra, the stress goes up, and then it goes down. So, practice again. Sí, sí. Una vez más, dígame, Jorge. Um, What ejemplo, por best pronunciation uh -huh. about what the pronunciation about what mm -hmm. the pronunciation of what Jorge um, mejorarla. Uh, how to improve the pronunciation you know easy if you go to google well not google si van a youtube yo les recomendaría que hagan este tipo de ejercicios ahorita si quieren nos vamos igual a la sala principal para que sus compañeros también puedan escuchar so they can listen great okay. job excelente amazing Finished? Yes, teacher. You did? Questions in pronunciation. How did you feel this experience? Uh, no, it's so clear. It's so clear. Okay, amazing. So let's go back to the main room. Great job. Okay. Finished? Did you practice? Yes. Questions in pronunciation? Questions about this exercise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's clear. Wow, amazing. So let's go back to the main room. Great job, guys. Let's go. <laughs> All right, just give me a moment. Okay, I was listening to you. And yeah, you're doing a great job, great pronunciation. I was just giving these recommendations. Make sure to read the questions or the interrogative statements in the correct way. Remember, we have an intonation practice that we need to remember about. Siempre que tengamos compound nouns, correct pronunciation. Igual, whenever you have a question, siempre que hay una pregunta, pasa lo mismo con la entonación. La última palabra puede subir o Puede bajar la entonación de acuerdo al tipo de pregunta. Si es una yes no question o una pregunta que inicia con el verbo to be, la entonación de esa pregunta, is there a public restaurant around here? Sube. Si es otro tipo de preguntas, como una WH question, la entonación de la última palabra va a bajar. Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? Verbo to be, pregunta sube la entonación. WH questions, goes down. Son dos recomendaciones. Then, me preguntaban cómo mejorar o cómo practico yo mi pronunciation. Easy. Ese tipo de ejercicios se los muestro. Los reading practice. En YouTube, gratis. Tienen tres horas en un solo video de material. Si se fijan, son eh, lecturas que necesitan ustedes escuchar, leer y a la misma vez pueden ir repitiendo. All right. Just make sure tengan solo el cuidado de que si sea eh, inglés americano, American pronunciation, que no vaya a ser inglés británico. Y hacen esto, ¿ok? 
quizás por los derechos de autor, vamos a quitar, no he puesto el audio por eso, pero sí, les doy la recomendación de que van ustedes, si se fijan leyendo, van pronunciando, voy comprendiendo sobre un nuevo tema y voy pronunciando. So, this is a very nice practice about different type of topics. All right. Hagan esto cuando tengan su tiempo libre. Ahí aprenden vocabulario, aprenden pronunciación y van eh, practicando muchas skills. Lectura, escucha y la pronunciación. Ok, sería mi recomendación para este día. So, just to finish, a los que no alcancé a escuchar, vamos a escuchar nuevamente el diálogo. The last activity is going to be about this. All right. So, I don't know if Wendy is right there. Because Hola. Ok, no he escuchado a Wendy. ¿Quién me le ayuda a Wendy a practicar la conversación? Who can help me out? One volunteer. Me. All right. Ramón. Entonces, Wendy, ¿está lista para practicar la conversación? Are you ready? Yes. Entonces, yo soy... You're going to read this part, the woman. And Ramon sí. is going to help you with the man part. Okay. okay, guys, go please. Three, two, and one. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Uh, eh, mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there are restrooms in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First, First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Great job, guys. Igual. <laughs> Great job, Wendy. It. Acuérdense las formas cortas. Tienen que exagerarse. It's. 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 Si no, se escucha singular. It. It's. It's. Okay. It's. Muy bien. Igual esta. Esta hay que exagerar un poquito más. I'm. 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 Si no, solo se escucha I. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, that's it. Great job, guys. Pregunta sobre la conversación de ahora. It's across from the park. Mañana nos metemos de lleno a las prepositions of place. So time is over. Thank you so much for coming today and participating. We are going to continue tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks to you guys. Thank you for the effort. Have a good afternoon and see you tomorrow. Thanks, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. See you, bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now.